right. Close to close to close to We're going to go ahead and start the meeting. It is 5.30 by somebody's clock in here. There you go. Come on in and have a seat. It's 5.30 somewhere. That's right. Yeah. Well, it's officially 5.30 now, so we're going to go ahead and start. I'm going to call this meeting to order, and the first order of business we have is uh, to approve the agenda. If we will look and make sure. Um, have there been any new additions, Ms. Duke, since we sat down? Okay. So moved. All right. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? All right. We're going to keep on going. Uh, first uh, item up for action is 3.1 Summer Testing Program District Instructional Specialist Emily Myers. Hi, Emily. Good. Hey, good afternoon. Do I look at you guys at the camera? You can, you can do a little of both. <laughs> I, would, I would rather look at y'all. Okay. So I'm Emily Myers. Just and occasionally I'm here, look at the camera. I'm here on behalf of Andrea and Lilly to seek approval for the summer testing plans so that accountability can submit those plans to DPI. Okay. So each school will be participating in summer testing, and you can find those testing plans on your board docs. So students who pass a course or a subject but score a level one or a level two on the EOC or EOG are eligible for summer testing. All of the summer testing will occur online this year during the teacher workday following remediation. Student participation is voluntary and as a result Beaufort County Schools will not be providing transportation or food. Um, please note that there is no summer testing in math this year. That is because there, it is a new math assessment. So that is why you will not see any summer testing for math. And as a reminder, summer testing does not change high school exam grades for students, and it does not affect teacher growth, but it does impact the school's proficiency for accountability. Do y'all have any questions about the summer testing plans? Not I'm not sure what I would ask if I had a question in okay look, uh, <laughs> in looking at this at all uh, I'm sure this formula that you figured out in the plan is is fine have we done this in the past with the no transportation and no yes we have so. and you've had good participation <laughs> could be better could be oh, worse really. We have some schools have more than others. Yeah, um, Snowden has the splash program that runs at the same time, so they, they have a tendency sometimes to get a little few more people there. Mm -hmm. And what what's the protocol for establishing who can participate? How do parents find out? Hopefully it's more than just a note home because I know that's scarcely getting to the right person. <laughs> So I know based on the policy, any student who passes the class but scores a level one or a level two on the EOG or EOC is then eligible for the retesting. Right, and how will we notify the parent that they're eligible? For the teachers are responsible for notifying. So it comes down to whatever process they decide to use. Can they be encouraged if they don't get a response to make a phone call or a physical okay. contact? Yes. Thank you. Okay. I just because I, I I've heard from time to time I didn't know anything about it yet and we know that they are notified in some way but it just maybe at the time you know you get a phone call or whatever and you may not be where you write it down so um, uh, as long as they have enough notice and maybe get a couple of reminders about the eligibility you know I think that'd be great. Absolutely. Anybody else have any questions for Ms. Myers? Move approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any more discussion? Mr. Hodges? All okay. right. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carried. Thank you so much. All right. And next up on 3.2 is the audit contract for the 2018-2019 school year and our executive director for business and financial services mr willie matt carowin you're up um thank you ma'am um the audit contract came in the same as it did last year at thirty five thousand dollars to perform the audit forty five hundred dollars to write the financial statements uh, mr cheeseman and i discussed whether to go out for proposals being that he's coming in mid-year, this is an auditing firm that has a history with Bedford County Schools. 
he and I agreed that we would be better served to maintain this agreement or this association for the current uh, fiscal year. Until June 30th, or is this a calendar year? This is a fiscal year. Fiscal, fiscal year. year, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and you say it's the same price they gave us last year? Yes, sir. I move we approve. Second. All right. We have a motion and a second. All Any discussion? All those in, oh, excuse me. Can you tell us who it's with? Uh, Dixon Hughes Goodman. Mm -hmm. Right. The same folks. That's one we just got a big packet from not very long ago. <laughs> right. anyway. Great big old packet. Yeah. Okay. We have a, um, I just wanted to clarify that for the record. Uh, we have a, a motion and a second. All those in favor, say aye. aye. All those opposed. Motion carried. Thank you, Mr. Carolyn. Next up on 3.3 .3 is the uh, capital request um, from Mr. Stanley Hudson. Um, the one item that I have the night for approval, seeking approval on, is the units that I made y'all aware of at Snowden um, two meetings back uh, in the media center. Um, and then we were supposed to get with Mr. William Mack to clarify funding. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. And he has secured funding. Yes, ma'am. And currently right. under the contingency and overrun is where we put savings from prior projects, as well as I mentioned in passing at the last meeting, we received about thirty-one thousand dollars in sales tax refund. Right. I placed that money in this account right now prior to a budget amendment to approve uh, if approved for this these units. You have sixty-one thousand eight hundred and eighty-nine dollars and sixty cents in that account. Yeah, how much in there one more time with that? $61,889.60. And then that'll be less than 10.5. Yes, 61889 889 I won't write down the pins. Minus the 10 uh, for now. 10.5. 10, 10, 10, 46 mm -hmm. And um, you've compared these bids, and they're all identical as far as the service they'll me. provide. and. Okay. They were all for 10 tons. Of the right, light. exactly. Yeah. If these are same unchanged figure, from last time. Right. Nothing changed. Same thing y'all have presented last time. Okay, all right. Uh, any discussion? Any okay. questions? Question. Yes, sir. Stan. Stan. Um, if this is approved, how soon can they get to work on this? He told me it was about a two week lead on once they ordered the unit, and then they'll put it in within two days once they get it. But the order was actually Because you all knew it's going to get hot here for a long Yes, sir. That's why I'm pushing. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm fine. And it's an area that makes heat, so. Right. Right. Okay. The computer. Right. Any other questions? And you're asking for approval for advanced air at Tim four ninety forty six. Correct. Yep. All right. Move approval. Second. Okay. All right. We have a, a motion to accept uh, the proposal by Advanced Air Solution System for ten thousand four hundred ninety dollars and forty six cents, which is the lowest bid by. Fifty-one dollars looks like, um, and we have a motion and a second. And uh, any discussion? All those in favor, say aye. aye. All those opposed. Motion carried. Thank you, Mr. Hudson. All right. Now we're at the uh, four point one. This is no action item, and this is uh, once again, Stan, um, the capital budget request for, and this is just for us to start this process, right? The high letters are for you to thank you. Highlight. Gotcha. So. Yes. Yes. We're not used to gifts. Well, <laughs> you got yeah, one. I think he's gonna take them We're gonna take them back. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, 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 don't be sticking it in your pocket, Matt. Our teachers and students need their resources. We're taking those back. Everything, everything you write with needs to say Farm Bureau on it, or it doesn't belong to you. When you, right, get so done, when you get done with building Mark Dunn's yeah. stand, I'll start real quick and then yes, you sir. jump in. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the board, what you see in front of you is what we believe <clears throat> is fairly close, if not the total list of our needs for our schools. And so as we comprise this list, uh, Willie Mack, myself, Stan, in separate conversations, we recognize that this list is capital, but also probably maintenance. So on the left-hand side in the column that says location, if you notice, you'll see uh, a superscript where you have two asterisks. That is actually an item that could possibly come from a maintenance budget versus a capital budget. So in short, 
many of your items under ten thousand dollars are more likely for a maintenance budget than they are a capital budget mm -hmm. but we wanted to put the totality of what our needs are in one comprehensive yeah. place uh, for the board of education but also the county commissioners and so really i gave you highlighters uh, just in case you have specific questions, because I know when you look at the spreadsheet, it, it tends to go on and on and on. Right? Um, but considering, Stan, would you like to weigh in on what's here? Um, yes, sir. Um, page one is basically um, system-wide what we thought for safety as far as connecting corridors and stuff. With this same page we presented to you all last year. This is a continuation from last year's document. Um, and Stan, before you go on on that, are these the same figures? Or are they updated figures or just guesstimates? Or no, some of the numbers changed. We called um, and got the local square footage, what it was split per square foot, and then I kept up with the same square footage I had from last time. So we, some of the numbers did change. Okay. Yes, okay. ma'am. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yep. Um, the bottom part of the page is basically plan <coughs> operations, transportations, and technologies, uh, vehicles, and equipment needs. We have some tractors that are 1977. Um, we've got some trucks that are 10 years or better years old with over 250,000 miles. Um, we do have some equipment needs definitely in the county. Last year we didn't get in. So. And then basically everything else from here on out is basically the school needs um, that was on here before. And I added all of the new principal's requests that were added in. Um, for each school that we received back, me and Mr. Doan sent out an email, or Mr. Doan asked me to send an email out prior to Mr. Cheeseman coming here back in um, November, and I received those back and him put these in, and Miss Lisa corrected it and spell check behind me and make sure everything was here. So, anything that y'all have a question, I, I can read it. A uh, couple items with no price. Um, the under page one, truck and service body replacing 7023. Yes, sir. We're still waiting on some of these preliminary page for tonight to just let you know what our needs were, but we're still waiting on some numbers okay. to bus right. garage, and I'm still waiting on a few contractor numbers scattered. I, um, I've been to a couple of meetings northeast, and they had, uh, he noted that he had given uh, for that funding to bring that parking lot out a different direct, that uh, exit. To get out, is yeah. it in there? Yeah, is, is it under asphalt or? Yeah, he's had that in there two or three. Asphalt, yes, sir. Two or three. Uh, it's been rolling, and it it got approved last year by our local asphalt. board, but then got knocked down because of funding. I don't see it. It's not, it's not there, Stan. Okay, that's why I need to add that. It's not there. On page six, rolling over to page seven for northeast. We need to add it back. You know roughly how much that cost was? I want to say roughly sixty thousand. Yeah, it was fifty to sixty thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, it was in the sixty thousand dollar mark. Yep. And that was to change the direction of the circle or change the delineation of the parking brake straight into forty five degree and to take an exit straight out to the existing entrance exit that is divided already. And you roll around there with the when they're exiting things, people park over there. Yeah, we had quite a few accidents over the years, bumpers and real a lot of real close ones that we haven't had any accidents. But the, when somebody's trying to back out at the same time the parents are coming around, it's very tight. So. Yeah. Beautiful so, school but a very poorly designed entrance. They put a dual driveway in and out, but then they brought it into one and brought it around. It just it is poorly designed. Yeah. But it says they also need a chiller replacement. Yeah, is that is that because of issues or just the age of it? It's just the age is coming up. I remember it's, you it's talked about that. Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't want to be surprised to say, boom, we have to need a chiller and we had to make y'all aware of the age. They do have life cycles, so. Because that one is oh, yeah. approximately the same age as the one at Southside. A uh, year younger. Uh, I think that's what you were kind of basing it on it's because right. that one's going and this efficiency, there's so much is changing with that. You know, if we could, if we could get some electric wood samples from Tideland or from somebody on this side of the river, then possibly we could upgrade those. Okay. See those. <laughs> <laughs> Working on the right. Um, let's see. When I look at page three, it says Northeast Elementary School, chiller replacement, no cost. Isn't that just, a, isn't that the same as on page four? 
northeast elementary children <coughs> play 310 pounds and say just do away with one of those. Right. Correct. Yeah, the children just are do all, we put all the HVs in Well, the one that doesn't have any price, well, it doesn't have any price put, anymore. Price so don't yeah. So, so we just, just, just kill that line yeah. all together. Yeah. Stick with the 310. Yeah. Hope did it don't do it. It will. Oh. I don't see <laughs> It always does go up. It always does go up. What did you think? Oh, yeah. How about the ones at Northside? Did you say those were? I, I didn't see any painting. I, I, he remember, remember on the calculator, he had some painting needs at Northside. Yeah. Page that's, five. That's what we were talking about. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't see Northside. So list. we need to add to page five, Stan, around the painting. Well, then he, he had a list of painting. Have a painting line, you? You, you I have, have it, it under. Nothing but Northside's not down there. No, it was on his list, wasn't it? Some painting. It was. It, it was. was. <clears throat> so we need to put Northside in. And there's supposed to be a canopy on the bus entrance at Northside. He had a list of. Yeah, Charles had a list. That was like their number one of their number one thing. Yeah. The and we've had that on yeah. there a couple times, the and the then bus. it that was got approved and died. Yeah. Right. Correct. Mm. Because we was, didn't want to go into the sidewalk, we wanted to cover the entire sidewalk. Not he also had, um, which is what they still want to do, is cover the entire concrete, not just part of it. Charles also had a bunch of cabinet needs. Yeah, um, some of that's in there. Uh, where's that? Where was that at? Uh, he's got food lab. Food lab. Labs one, one, two, three, one, and four. Five. What page are you? And uh, hasn't that also been in there in the past? Stand. Top yeah. bottom right. Sorry this keeps that. rolling over. <clears throat> Cabinets in lab one, two, three, four. That's all. Oh. Refurbished, yep, that's there. Cabinets in ROTC room. Yep. Cool. Display case. Stan, in its totality, what's the cost? If in the world of 100%, we were actually funded for all of it. $7 million. What's the cost? What are you talking about the cost of work? The amount of money you would need to do all of this work. Mm -hmm. It didn't print. It did total the spreadsheet, but it is printed over there. Which one? It's everything, all the pages combined. It didn't You'd have total. to add, yeah, we have to add each one because it's broke down. But it's, 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 it's over cost. 7 million. It's 7 yes. million 155, it so, says. It's on well, the last page. 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 Oh, page. Page. Oh, page. But now, there is some redundancy here, and um, but we did finish. We did say brick and mortar. There's some brick and mortar ones in here. There's some replaced modulars in here. We, I give you different scenarios of. Right. Well, that's what the modulars are. That's two different numbers. That on the, on the very right. last, right. yeah, on the very last page up at the top, it says overall cost seven million one hundred fifty-five thousand. Right. Well, and then underneath that, you've given us the modular yeah. costs, yeah. And, which are quite a bit more. But at some point, have to be <coughs> considered. We have to start somewhere like, considering those modular needs. I don't know how. That first number, the fourteen million three ten. Just right um, over the Last year. That's brick and mortar, and then the other one's the metal building metal like we have at Eastern, at Eastern. At Eastern and at John Cotton Taylor. Mm. Well, you're going to need to really start thinking about your modular units as the K3 class size law will start <coughs> soon, especially at Chocolate Primary. Because where are you going to put them? Because you're going to have, yeah, you're going to have to expand. Well, you won't be using that back modular well, at Chocolate Primary. I'll show you, Mr. Mr. Williams, while we were up there doing the floor, mm -hmm. um, that back modular, the whole side on the left, the very, very rear one you is, needs to be demoed. And me and Mr. Cheeseman spoke about that, about as possibly doing it for maintenance, but I'll bring that before y'all in another oh, yeah. time. I'll but the left one is the, the whole front of it, is everything they covered it up with the vinyl and the masonite or whatever behind it is it's sagged almost enough that the bottom sheet of vinyl, the 12 inch piece of vinyls rolled all the way out. The one in the back, you you know that saying, you and I talked about it. You can walk around the back of it or from the outside and just take your hand and push right through the wall. How do I know that? <laughs> Did you do <laughs> that? <laughs> there might be a hole in the wall. There might be a hole. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, but that just proves right there that it's just a piece of junk. These are not listed in priority, are they? No, ma'am. No, no ma'am. This was just the first. Yeah, so we'll, you we'll need some is, time to look over this. Right. Yeah. yeah, good work. Yeah, just to I just give you a good idea, and there's still a few other numbers to come in. Sure. And some other little things that. Let yeah, me, uh, two two things I'd like to see. One is is see them the the different items prioritized, like the roofing projects, which ones are higher priority, and then also see a breakdown of cost of of 
maintenance budget stuff versus capital budget based on what you've got asterisks beside. Yep. So I'll, we can I'll so we can see a difference in those two things. Yeah. Okay. Can I throw something else out here? See what the board has to say about this. What's what would be the board's appetite for revisiting the energy contracts? We went through a long process with them, went with two companies, Snyder and Amoresco. Snyder because that's who the counties currently has uh, an energy contract with them themselves. So the commissioners are very familiar with that because they're under a contract. Uh, the other company was Amoresco, who had, a, I, don't, I, don't, I won't say more reasonable, but a smaller program. Mm -hmm. uh, but it would address issues like chillers. What, what exactly can we put under that stand? Any thing in it? All the chillers and roofs. The, um, the envelope issues. Yes. Some windows, like depending on the, the, the yep. criteria of the building, there's some windows have enough payback that it <laughs> yes. fall in there. Some of them didn't. Yeah. So. That was the problem with the windows. Some of them had a 50 year payback. Yeah, I mean it was ridiculous. Some items were crazy. But I, yeah, I got the. Um, and you mentioned it, T.W. So that's why I thought I'd just throw it out. I, um, I got the original one at my computer at work, and then I got the county's one mm -hmm. at my computer at work. Okay. So I, I would love to see us look into it. It's. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, when we looked in it before, it was a pretty large contract. Was it ten, fifteen million dollars? But then with Amoresco, we talked about one more five to six, seven million dollars, and we can scale it to be whatever we want it to be. Correct. But you might, I mean, because look, you might as well just go and let's be reasonable here. Here, you're not going to fund capital from the county at seven million dollars, so that's not going to happen. We know what we need, but you may could fund a smaller <coughs> contract in the five to six million dollar range. And get a lot of stuff done. There was one other catch twenty two in that too is the county would have to agree to guarantee our funds for the length of the contract. Mm -hmm. But they couldn't decrease but they couldn't decrease our funding. If you go with somebody like Snyder that they've already gone that they've right. gone with they've, well, they're already getting seeing the savings. That was my that was my point when we talked to them the first time. How I mean they can, but how would the county balk on something for us that they're currently doing for themselves but that's the only way long term that's the only way i ever see that we'll be able to that's keep right. up with the current facilities that we have <laughs> and possibly add facilities or add additions to our existing if, facilities. if we're serious about this list that is the only way you're going to go because you're not going to get seven million dollars from the county that's not on there no, not well, that's I, that's not going to happen is it about not going to happen so it's either that or start scaling a lot back. Mm -hmm. I, I, I said we entered it. We, it's only time. Well, whenever we decide to do it, all you got to do is give them a phone call because they're both both of those companies are very familiar with our schools and our systems. So it it wouldn't be a, a stretch to at least start a conversation with them. I got it. Okay. Yeah, and we've added for those of you that went to you went to PSG. Yeah. It's not the sidewalk to the EC classroom. Remember, they need to, that's not yep. on here. Okay. I remember. I didn't see if it was on there or not, but I remember they showed where it. Where they, us. you weren't with, where they no, get no. off the EC, gets off the bus. Yes. They you made it to the back side of their Right, own, right. It, it, they need a sidewalk so because they've got that door there to keep them from going in and all the way around, especially our, the wheelchair. You know, wheelchair bound ones, when they have them, have to go through the building, which is fine, but it's a lot longer when we need a sidewalk yeah, that'll come on, come on, connect them right there. The floor inside of yeah, well, that was the wall. Come come out the same right. issue Absolutely. at Southside. Was it on here? I didn't look and see. Remember, they had one that goes out the back that Rick Anderson showed us? Right. The hallway yeah, that those kids that, come so. in goes out to the parking lot. <laughs> Here last year. I mean, it may be here. I just have a look. Concrete walk from EC no, no. classroom, okay, so yes, sorry, and from that's, student that's, parking lot to main entrance. That so that's on there. Move. But we also need that that short <laughs> sidewalk for EC. I, I want to make sure we get that done for them. That that can't be that much. Right. Those are things accommodating kids. They're going to be gaining, I think, a wheelchair bound one next year. So I want to make sure they have sidewalk. So mm -hmm. the value of your asterisk um, that would be for your proposed maintenance budget is 292259 So in your list, it's just short of 200000 yeah. yeah, it's just short of 300000 Well, that brings the total list to a real manageable $6.8 million. Absolutely, sir. <laughs> Absolutely. At least you know, at least you know what we need. Oh, no, this is what we need. We need it. <laughs> we need that knowledge. <clears throat> I'm gonna call it shock and awe. We need this yeah. put in front of someone that this is what our needs are. Yeah. There's no point in us taking and continuing to push aside things 
that we need, we need to show them to someone else. And if they can't fund it, then so be it. Right. But we don't need to do the job for them. That's right. not what we're to do. We're supposed to look after schools. They're supposed to fund it. End of, end of that discussion right there. And I want to be able to go back to last year's and see what, as you remember, as the board should remember, there were a lot of things that we really thought should be a priority and we had to roll them over mm -hmm. and some of them are on here but some of them might not be I think I still have that list from do you the first, I, I hope the I do first too. approval right we did prior to retaining if you could put money, your hands on that I would that I would love that because we ha were forced to roll some things over and well, a couple of principals on the tours made the comment you know I asked for it and I asked for it and I asked for it <clears throat> I don't want us to forget that that we did make it a priority and then when a roof starts leaking that takes precedent over everything so stand those how it works <clears throat> even after we skinned the list down last year we had 2.2 million dollars and then we get funded at 1.2 million dollars mm -hmm. then we have chillers go down it costs eight hundred thousand dollars well I hate to say on camera three hundred thousand dollars is not much money, but three and four hundred thousand dollars in our world is not much money. Not for all those not schools. In the of the capital. Exactly. And I want parents and to understand main, that we one point three seven six million square foot of it. Well, that's the other point. Last time we checked, we had about two hundred twenty million dollars of assets in the county under schools, and most people we've talked about this before. Most businesses fund their capital at about four percent, give or take a little bit more than that. And we fund out, which do the math on that, is over $8 million, which would cover the list. And we fund ours based on funding from the county at less than half a percent. And I, I can't want catch parents up that to, way. <clears throat> to understand some of the things that, <clears throat> I apologize, some of the things that they have expressed, you know, an interest to see improved at their child or children's schools, uh, we have on the list. But, but then, when roofs start leaking and chillers go out, we, we have to make some tough decisions. But that doesn't mean that we don't still take in those, those concerns into consideration and, and want to be able to make those improvements. And, um, and we try to make them. We just have to sometimes use a safety pin and duct tape, it seems like, uh, when you don't have the a money. Of, a lot of Band-Aids. A lot of Band-Aids. But we, like will, we will not give up, and we will keep going until we can make those repairs and make those improvements. It's kind of like the national discussion that goes on right now. There's nothing free, folks. Does uh, anybody else have anything? I, I know we've been giving this to chew on a little bit. Yeah, we just got yeah, to um, Stan, another thing, the, uh, we only partially funded the athletic parking around the back at Northeast. Right. Um, and I don't, that only a small part of that got done, so we'll make, make sure that gets captured in the list. Additional parking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And another one, Southside's curtain is Rick had sent me an email with it. You add Southside needs their um, curtains replaced, their, fire, their curtains in their stage. He did tell us that. We didn't yeah. walk into the auditorium. He sent me a separate email after, but I just had to think yeah, about yeah, it. I, I we went over and looked at them. Oh, we did walk yeah. in. That's you right. You can't touch them without them falling right yeah. off. Right. Yeah, we were afraid to touch them. They looked like they were kind of stitched together a little bit. Yeah. So for the next board meeting, we'll bring back to you okay. an updated list, but a prioritized list. Right. Uh, in the meantime, over the next 10 business days, if you can take a look at it, uh, chew on it, you know, work with me individually around what you think the priority should be. Anything on there you think we should not be doing, uh, please let me know. And uh, Stan and I will work on it over the next 10 business days and bring it back to you at our next meeting. Do we do we want to um, entertain the um, talking to the energy service contract people? Absolutely, absolutely. So I'll make another suggestion on that. Go ahead. Refresh my memory. Why did we not do that? With Snyder and Amoresco, like I said, Snyder had a bigger program. Snyder had, a, I mean, Amoresco had the smaller of the two programs. Just a matter of what they were suggesting. The thing that scared the board off a little bit was they had a fixed cost of about 30% added into it. Strict pro Actually, it, it depended on how you calculated it. I sat in on every meeting they had for about a year. And well, Stan was there. Some of those items actually had a fixed cost, a profit cost of about 50% added to them. So you really had to justify what you put on there. Were you saving money or not saving money? Because the profit side for them was pretty high. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to have that five hundred dollar toilet. So that's why we kind of went away Some from the twelve really million were. dollar plan 
down to things about that five. we could do ourselves but, for a lot less money. Sure. But they included a lot of frivolous <clears throat> stuff that really Stan could accomplish within maintenance. That was, that but was you didn't goal, we'd get funded. Right. <laughs> but you couldn't really cherry pick what you wanted them to do, at least not at that time. Well, we, it was kind if of an all or nothing. If we negotiate deal. again, we can give them a list of what we right. want them to look at. We didn't the now, first time. And, and that's now, why we got such a got apples and oranges. But Amoresco will and they're the same type cut. Amoresco will allow uh, was, was going to allow us to do that. Mm -hmm. They were going to have the programs after the audit, which maybe you have a copy of all that, mm -hmm. and then we could choose which programs we wanted to put into it. That's why we could go from a twelve million to a five million. All I was going to suggest, if the board decides to do that, not trying to get more people involved, but I am going to try to get more people involved. Uh, a person that's already under contract with us, Al Clem, who's a yeah. former commissioner. He's an absolute expert to the tenth degree on these energy contracts. He worked with the county when they set theirs. When up. They set theirs up. He sat in all the meetings with us for over a year with both of those companies. I would definitely pull him in, bring him in here and talk to you, whatever. But he can tell you the pros and the cons of what you're getting ready to get into. And I, and I do know they're saving the money in the county's office. Right. All right. Is that okay. something we can can act on? And maybe get it at our next meeting or the meeting after that. We'll get on it tomorrow. Okay. All right. Are there any more questions on this capital budget that's been put together so far? I know. And if you'll just if you'll just hold on to this and and when you have time to look at it, make your notes on it and make sure and just you know send them back to Mr. Cheeseman so he can add or or explain some of the things. Um, yeah, any questions? Please feel free to call me. Yes. We'll, yes. I got one question. Sure. <coughs> the track at Southside that has been completed, right? No. No. No, no sir. No, we sir. never got anybody. You mean repair it? Yeah. We never got anybody that would do it, we, right? You have one bid now. We have one bid oh, that came okay. in, but it was. It's three times the amount of money. Is it the one I just saw in here of one hundred fifty or sixty thousand dollars? Yes, sir. Okay. And. But, um, since then, Mr. Chiefman, as of yesterday, there is a company in North Carolina, and I did send them the stuff. Um, they do offer repair with warranty. Um, okay. The first three companies said they only did complete replacement. Tear it off, back to the asphalt, and put it back. But there is a company here in North Carolina, um, Sutton Court Services, that they do offer. I sent them the, our photographs. I sent them the pictures um, of Vanity Sports, Inc. They're out in North Carolina here. But they do offer repairing the product. They wanted the pictures. I sent him the picture that y'all have um, of the start finish lines. The rest of the track, I walked the track. The track's in good shape, sure. other than those points and the damage on turns one, two. Down on the floor. You know, mm -hmm. Five years ago, before we yeah. fixed the entire track. Gotcha. And TW, when we were at Coffee with Cougars, not this last time, the time before the, that, uh, Mayor of Bellhaven, Mr. Ricky Cradle, was talking about that they were are getting ready, and they've probably done it by now, to go into, they had solicited bids uh, for asphalt, That's for right. repair. And he, he talked about uh, that um, company, it was going to be a contract for a year or two. Yeah, and he did a blanket contract for a year, and there may be some cost savings to tag on to the end of it to get if we had any paving needs. Especially if they were down on that yep. north side of the river, uh, that uh, he'd be glad to yep. put us in touch with them. Uh, Lynn Lewis. And they'd come uh, do any job, no matter the, how uh, little town, as large. a town manager in town, mm -hmm. uh, call in. And I, you may have to call Paul Wood. I think Paul Wood's is still in charge of the uh, uh, maintenance department. That's one thing that hits us hard is, tra is the transportation of asphalt. Well, that's what he said. If they're down there, and, and he's since he's theirs is the gonna, same battle. right, it's going to be a, a long oh, contract with them. He said things, especially if they're already going to be in the Bellhaven area, um, it would be worth our while, right? Large transfer fee. So. Yeah, if, especially if they don't have but one day work and they can make a whole week between us and them. But I, he didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But still, I, but you know that, that helps you out. Right. Find out if they're. Um, uh, we'll be willing to Not let Lynn us Lewis, do that. Lynn Davis, sorry. I got it. <laughs> okay. All right. Lynn Davis. <laughs> yeah. Anything shoot else? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Stan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, keep going. Yeah. We're now at Mr. Cheeseman, 4.2 district <laughs> staffing. So, Mr. Doan, myself, Ms. Lilly, uh, met last Friday to talk about future staffing. And one thing that we really have on our mind is the repeated history of the utilization of our fund balance. So over the last three years, we've used uh, pretty close to $300,000 a year to sustain the district. And so that's a practice that we don't want to continue forward to the best of our ability. 
So considering uh, the state typically gives us just over 300 uh, positions for teachers, and then we pick up positions through VIF, we pick up positions uh, through federal funding. Um, but we sat down and in short, and this is just a projection, so it shouldn't be something people react over just yet. Um, but we believe that if we utilize our efficiency formulas, but still keep education at the forefront for our students and teachers, that we have roughly a $650,000 savings based off of a projection. And that is essentially 13 positions that either retire out, transfer out, you capture uh, positions and put them together throughout the district. That's based off of licensure. That's based off of um, course offerings. That's based off of location. And so in short, that's not where a person would lose their job. That is just looking in the totality of the entire district. And on average, you're looking at a $50,000 cost savings per position. And on paper, we're looking at around 13 positions uh, throughout 14 schools. And so right now, when we go on our recruiting trips, we still will look for those hard to fill areas such as mathematics, um, EC teachers, science teachers. Um, but right now, we're going to continue to work with our principals closely. We're going to meet with each individual principal, look at their master schedule, uh, look with, talk with our counselors around what students need uh, specifically to make them competitive at the end of their four years and, and give them choices and options at the end of the four years. So in short, what we're trying to do is stop that 300000 or nearly $300,000 payment that's going out, um, but at the same time, somewhat rein it in a bit where <coughs> principals may have to make some hard decisions inside their building. Uh, you have some courses at different grade levels that have about 30 to 34 students in it. You have other courses that have maybe five kids in it. Um, doesn't mean that they can't take the course. We might just have to find another way of doing it. So with that, in the next two weeks, we'll have a more um, clearly defined outline for you to look at uh, to talk about where some of those changes would occur. But again, I reiterate, it does not come with meaning people would lose their positions. It means that we can be more effective and more efficient in what we're doing. But we project right now essentially a cost savings of almost 650000 any questions on Stephen? <coughs> Not now. <laughs> but we'll have, I'm sure we'll have plenty once you really start doing the, Absolutely. Uh, the research on it. All right. Any other questions? And we're going to move on to uh, closed session. All right. I move that we go into closed session pursuant to General Statute 143-318.11A1 to prevent disclosure of confidential personnel files under General Statute 115C-321. Second. Okay, we have a motion to go into closed session by Terry and a second by Butch. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? All right, um, we're back in open session now, and the first thing we want to do is um, I need a motion to approve our. Personnel agenda, Ooh. personnel contract. Second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. All those opposed? All right. Um, Who did that? Did I do it? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. And now um, we, are, we are at the end of the meeting, and we'll ask Mr. Cheeseman, do you have any superintendent updates for us? Uh, as of right now, just to review Governor Cooper's uh, budget plan that he just released. So we'll be diving into that, dissecting that tomorrow to share with all of our employees. Um, and at that time, nothing else at this time. Okay. Uh, board members, do we have any updates? Anything going on we need to know about? Uh, yes, Madam Chair. I attended the, well, I've been to my second school board association meeting. And it's, uh, we went through a lot of updates, and it's quite interesting. There's a lot going on, isn't A lot there? going on, a lot going on. Well, we appreciate any yep. updates you want to bring back to us and share. We would, we when would I figure it all out, I'll bring you one. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. How about on this end? Oh, uh, I went to production of Willy Wonka, put on by the Bath Elementary School. Uh, Is that the turkey? Yeah, 
turnage? Saturday. Yes, it was at the, at the turnage on Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, they did a matinee and then an evening uh, performance. It was fantastic. Was it? Mm -hmm. uh, it was. It was really good. And it was good to see. Good to see us be able to use the turnage uh, for that. That was really nice to be able to go in and have an actual theater setting and That's everything. Great. So. Um, kids did a great job, and the teachers that um, that helped with it outstanding. I, it just to see fourth, fifth, and sixth graders—I think that's what it was—all get up there and do that was, you know, uh, it was great. We are show. we are really blessed to have that beautiful facility, and they are working hard to bring as many children programs to it, whether they are put on by us locally or even bringing them in to make sure that our kids have a chance to attend them at. A, either a reduced or free cost so I want to compliment the staff and the people that support the turnage to make that happen for yes, both kind of schools yes, yes sir I was just going to say I had a chance this week to read over read at two schools to the students celebrating March reading read ends and if you get a chance to do that go out the kids love it they they love it when you read now they'll ask, they'll ask you some hard questions sometimes <laughs> better be prepared and I asked a couple of things and I, and I learned real quick be careful what you ask for because you might get it sure because little kids have no you know no filters yeah. i highly encourage if you have not signed up for a date or a yeah. time at a school yeah. it's not too late some yeah. schools are doing it the entire month of march yeah. Eastern's doing and it uh month. if you show up at the school and say i know i'm not um signed up but i have some time i promise you they will find a class that mm -hmm. that would love for you to read yep. so it doesn't always have to be a formal uh appointment i do have one other thing yes sir um, I did speak with uh, Senator Erica Smith, and she did add Beaufort County Schools onto uh, her bill that she filed for local uh, LEA calendar flexibility. And also, I did invite her to the March 26th event that's being hosted by the Northeast RESA to speak with our legislators about some of our um, priorities for the upcoming school year. So. Great. Yep. Uh, and as we all know, and if you don't know, you should, uh, spring sports have started across Beaufort County um, uh, from middle school on up to the high school. There's almost something being played uh, every day, or at least being practiced. So uh, I encourage you to support the students and athletes in your community with your attendance and your cheers and certainly probably any financial support. Um, uh, they really do need it. They work really hard. So many of our coaches work for little to no pay. And, um, and, and we appreciate them, them taking the time. Uh, but yeah, they're going on. You look in the newspaper and there's a list of where everything's happening every day. I do encourage all of our schools to keep their, their calendars up to date on their website. I do know a lot of people that go to see when an event's gonna happen, so make sure you've got that up to date. Um, are there any other comments? Madam, Madam Chair, uh, yes, Mr. Sir. Cheeseman has been invited by the Buford County Farm Bureau Board of Directors to speak at their meeting on Monday night. Excellent. Wonderful. Good. And, and also on Monday the 11th at 8.30 in the morning, uh, Representative Kidwell will be here uh, to entertain conversation with our Board of Education if you're available. When? And myself, Monday at 8.30 in the morning. This, this coming Monday? Yeah. Here in the boardroom? Yes. That's a time and place and choice that he said. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. If there's no other business, I would entertain another motion. So moved. I just entertained it. I, I move we I adjourn. Didn't make it. <laughs> I move we adjourn. I'll second it. <laughs> I entertain all that. Yeah. Okay. Um, all those for adjournment, say aye. Aye. All right. All those opposed. We're out of here. Thank you all. in the morning.